Several lucky members of the media got a rare chance to cycle and jog on the Sepang International Circuit as preparations were underway for the Formula One Petronas Malaysia Grand Prix. Sepang International Circuit CEO Dato Razlan Razali said the press could see the upgrades and resurfacing work that have been done. He said this would be the first time an international event would be held on a new surface. I think uh, uh, it's it, Sepang uh, selalu is an unpredictable uh, circuit. Uh, it will be an unpredictable race. Uh, no matter what kind of tyre ch choices they use, I think the factors of uh, the weather, uh, the heat, humidity, uh, and the tropical rain uh, will make it all exciting. Uh, I think what's also important is how much degradation that you get with the Pirelli tyres uh, when it comes to a new asphalt. So if I'm not mistaken, uh, we'll be the first, uh, the only circuit this season that uses the new, the new asphalt. And I'm, I'm sure Pirelli is also not, not, not sure what to expect in terms of tyre degradation. The resurfacing and upgrading exercise involved the entire 5.543 km track, including improving corner drivability at turns 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 12 and 15. Ini salah satu fasiliti yang baru yang kita uh, siapkan uh, baru sahaja minggu lepas. Uh, sudah ada satu event yang kita buat untuk mengujikan semua fasiliti uh, di uh, bangunan baru ni dan kita sudah siap bersedia untuk uh, Formula One. October will be the motorsport month with Formula One Petronas Malaysia Grand Prix kicking off on September 30th until October 2nd. This will be followed by a two-day event of the MotoGP from October 28th.